Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. You're cooking with Earl today. I'm gonna to show you a really cool trick when it comes to making bacon. We all love bacon, and I love savory butcher bacon the best because it is so delicious. All right, you ever made a burger, you get a few slices of bacon on it, you take a few bites, you pull out the whole slice, you don't have enough bacon in every bite. Everybody's trying to top the world when it comes to putting bacon on sandwiches. This is how you do it, and you can store it in your fridge Anytime you want, you've got bacon perfection for your sandwiches. If you look at my cutting board right here, I've already set some up. Hey, that means my oven's warm. If you look at it right there, I just cross hatched these and thrown them together so you can kind of see what they look like when they're done. But I'm gonna throw three of them across right here, you guys. And then I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it and a little trick for making sure it stays flat. So let's get this one on. All right, it starts by cutting your bacon in half. All right, you see I have some parchment paper down right here. We know that there's one, two, three, four, five, six half pieces of bacon. So if I wanna make three more, I'm gonna need nine slices of bacon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh man, that, <laughs> I love bacon. All right, so I'm gonna find about the middle point right here. I'm gonna cut it in half and I'm gonna start laying this bacon out. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay the bacon side by side, just like this. Mix it up a little bit, doesn't matter. I'm gonna throw all my vertical slices out, or horizontal, depending on how you're looking at the camera. One, two, three. One, two, three. I feel like the Sesame Street count right now. Two, two pieces of bacon, ah, uh, ah. Uh. All right, right off the bat, the first thing I do is I pull a little edge over like that and I lay down my bacon, then I flop it back over. Now I'm gonna take the two outside edges, pull them back, and I'm gonna lay one right in the middle. Drop these back over, pull this one back, and boom, I've got a perfectly cross-hatched piece of bacon. I'm gonna do that two more times, then I'm gonna show you the little trick that I use to keep my bacon flat, and I'm gonna show you a couple other things before we throw this in the oven. Put those there, cross hatch them over, pull that one back. And it seems like that method of three and three works out pretty good. So we're gonna pull this back here, toss her down. Got all kinds of beeps going on in the background back here. That oven is saying, feed me bacon. All right, don't worry about it oven, we're getting to you. Boom, boom, just like that. All right. So now I've got what you see. You see some of them were wider, some of them were thinner, but they're all amazing. If you want to get bacon like this, I get mine from Savory Butcher. Awesome bacon. There's a link down below. But you ever have pepper bacon? You go to the store and you're like, I want to buy some bacon. But the pepper crust bacon costs a lot more than the regular bacon. Here's how you fix that. Oh my gosh, I now have pepper bacon. Because <laughs> I just throw pepper on it. It's funny. <laughs> I've been doing this for years and I still get people that go, I never thought about peppering my bacon. Yep, as much as you want, as little as you want, no problem. You know what, I want some candied bacon too, so I'm gonna throw some brown sugar on this one. And that's just gonna dissolve right there into that bacon. I'm just gonna coat it right real good. And I think we'll go one more pepper bacon. And then I'll re leave the other ones natural. All right. Here is the secret, everybody. When you're making these to where they come out right, you ever have bacon curl up in a pan? We're gonna solve that problem right now. This is the rack that normally goes this way in the tray. We're just gonna put it upside down like that, and that's gonna hold the bacon in there. I'm gonna throw it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 16 minutes, take a peek at it. Every oven's different, and then when we get done, we're gonna have some awesome toppers for sandwiches. Oven's nice and warm. Now it's the waiting game. It's gonna take a minute. All right, it's been 20 minutes. It's bacon time. Let's go check it out. I'm excited. It's been about 20 minutes. Let's look at this bacon. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yes, that looks beautiful. Beautiful. That's what I wanted. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Look at that. All 
All right, so I probably don't need to tell you not to grab the raft. That's something that I would normally do. Be like, all right, you can just pull this out. But you don't want to do that because it's hot. But I'm looking at this, and that looks delish. So I'm going to... How do I want to take that off? I usually just grab a spatula and then grab it. Right like this. We'll set that right there, let it cool. And oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. This is bacon perfection. So we're gonna set these out, let them cool. That's a pepper bacon. Here's a pepper bacon. <gasps> look at the brown sugar, the candied one. I already know which one I'm gonna be eating. Look at that. <laughs> that looks awesome. And we got a couple regulars right here. And they're perfect. As these things cool, they're going to crisp up a little bit. And this guy right here looks just about right. We'll set it right up here. All right. Hey, guys. So these are going to go on sandwiches. They're going to go on whatever. But, oh, my gosh, I cannot wait to eat them. <laughs> I love savory butcher bacon. All right, so that's my little tip of the day on how to do bacon. You can take these, you can throw them on your sandwiches, turkey sandwiches, bacon sandwiches, hamburgers, whatever kind of sandwich. You can eat it just like that. It's like jerky. Who knows? Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe down below, and we'll see you next time on Cooking with Earl. Talk to you later.